Hi, my name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products. This is just a, a product overview video of the Muck Truck four wheel drive power barrows. Uh, they're designed and built in uh, the UK, um, first designed in 1994. Uh, all of the products in front of you come with a two years warranty and the petrol uh, engine driven ones uh, all come with a two years warranty directly backed by Honda UK and in fact worldwide. Um, okay so if the camera wants to come in I'll run through the key elements uh, initially on the original muck truck and then we'll talk about the other machines afterwards. So we've mentioned about the warranty, the British built, um, the power drive system which is uh, the painted unique part to the muck truck product. Basically we have all six wheels, so four ground wheels and a power drive conversion wheel and basically when you're driving and you select gear as the front wheel is driving forward the middle wheel is revolving backwards and because it's under a friction contact the back wheel then is driving and that gives you the four wheel drive system developed by Muck Truck and a uh, couple of important points with regards to this uh, do keep your tyre pressures between 30 and a maximum of 35 psi but a minimum of 30 so anywhere sort of 30 32 is ideal but 35 is okay and that will lock, that will give you optimum drive for the machine in poor ground conditions uh, the other thing that you would also want to do and we'll do a video on maintenance checks and adjustments on on the products on another day but you do want to make sure the drive lever that's here you do want to make sure that that cable is adjusted correctly at all times uh, certainly from new it will stretch and bed in a little bit so you will need to adjust it but we'll like I say we'll do that on another video so that sort of explains the power drive system so um, all the dimensions and capacities etc is all on our website under each product page but I'll just mention one of the key elements to the machine it's narrow access capability it's designed for builders landscapers ground workers, tree surgeons find it very useful um, basically to get in and around through a side gate around the back of a house so that, that's the key to the product. It works extremely well almost hand in glove with micro diggers that have the narrowing tracks on them so that, that is a good combination for this product and the digger. So the width of the machine is 28 inches or uh, 710 or, or 71 centimeters um, so that gives you a dimension the capacity this is the original muck truck that was developed back in 1994 this has got a 250 kilogram carry capacity and 170 liters in volume or six cubic feet um, that sort of really covers the important aspects of it I mean I'll show you how to uh, release a skip so this is the skip release lever. If it had a full load and you stopped it suddenly, then the skip would go over and it would tip over. It's quite an aggressive tip when it's empty. Obviously it's not as bad when it's full. Okay, so I think that really covers the, the general introduction of the machine. So I'll just talk about the differences now between the models. So if the camera would like to come in and get a focus on the blue max machine uh, what we call the max stumper so exactly the same width that's the key to it slightly more beefed up in certain areas to give it its extra carrying capacity so you, on this one you've got the large wheels front and back and you've got more metal in certain key areas for the strength element the drive system uh, the engine system all runs the same it drives off an industrial um, pulley belt system so which I don't think I mentioned actually earlier on the muck truck but but really that's the core core difference so but the the capacity on this is 365 kilos in carrying capacity so considerably more and you um, the volume is 226 litres so quite a bit more in volume as well and uh, that in cubic feet is eight cubic feet so you know if you're looking at purchasing this type of product please really take, bind, uh, take that on board because 
not only is it a British design and built and high quality product out there, um, the volume and capacity is a real key point that we, we mention. Um, also, we haven't done any alterations to the Honda engine or petrol tank system, so the Honda engine is fully backed by Honda uh, worldwide. Okay, um, that really is the main difference, and the difference in price um, with, with fresh group products between these two products equates to £100 uh, pre-VAT. So um, it's almost a no-brainer, but I would say 95% of our customers would go for the Max Dumper. Okay, uh, if the camera wants to pick up on the machine that's on the ramp, this is a Max Dumper exactly the same as the Blue Machine. The only difference is we call this a Mark II uh, because it's got the galvanised skip. That's an optional upgrade uh, for for the trade well for anyone that's purchasing you know whether it's commercial uh, or domestic so that otherwise that's the same product okay so moving over to the latest model in the range um, this is what we call the h max power barrow and basically there are some key differences with this model um, and i think it's going to not replace the Max Dumper by no means um, because there is a pricing difference but it, it's already showing to be a very popular model uh, with people since it's been launched. So it's 450 kilograms in carrying capacity. It is fractionally wider but it's still only 29 inches or 736 millimeters so uh, or 73 and a half. Um, basically uh, you've got a lot more capacity in this machine. It's still running off the same uh, tried and tested proven drive system, um, but this has got onboard hydraulics. Uh, it has three hydraulic valves as standard, although we only have one lever on it, but future attachments will de be developed to work off this hydraulic system. Um, and that, that's the key difference to it. I'm going to run it round just so the camera can see at the back we've got a balance bar and on this balance bar here basically that's required um, if you're going over poor terrain when you're fully loaded just where the operator can add some more counterbalance obviously it's empty so I'm going to tip it up with my weight but um, also useful when you're tipping a heavy load and when you're tipping that load at a certain point dependent on the terrain conditions you may again require to stand and put some weight on the back so that covers really the HMAX but like I say we'll be doing individual videos on these so if the camera can get the green machine which is what we call the electric muck truck hence why it's green I guess so it's exactly the same capacity and dimension skip wise as the uh, muck truck, the original muck truck, so it's 250 kilograms carry capacity, 176 litres or 6 cubic feet. So it's electri fully, fully electrically powered, so where noise pollution um, is a problem or you know uh, or fumes then you know interior strip out fit out companies uh, it's ideal for those sort of customers um, it's very simple uh, we'll do I won't go into it now but we will do obviously an individual product uh, video on that showing you how to start it etc so that covers the models we're now just going to briefly touch on the attachments there are eight attachments in total We've only got three on display today, but uh, I'll tell you what they are. Uh, they're all listed on the website, so and we will, like I say, we'll do a, a video on those as well. So you've got the loading ramp, skip loading ramp, but it can be used uh, providing you secure it properly with trailers or um, trailers or or oh gosh, what's the word? Tipper lorries, like a transit tipper, um, but obviously with skips as well. Then the, that's a very popular attachment. And the other popular attachment is here, right here in front of me. That's the flatbed. Uh, easy to swap over from the skip and carry paving slabs or, or any products, really. Uh, a very popular attachment. And then sat on the flatbed, you'll see the ball hitch, which is quick to fit um, and can be a useful attachment for moving trailers around the yard. The other attachments that aren't on show today, but are listed on the site, are the skip extensions or greedy boards, as you may know them. Uh, the snow plough attachment and uh, it is pretty cold today so I'm guessing there's going to be some snow up north 
um, so it's popular for snow moving. There's a twin wheel kit that fits on the front axle which gives extra stability and a turf tyre kit which you can fit um, to protect the ground and then lastly a paddock vacuum or it can be used for other vacuum duties. So that's that really goes through the product in quite some detail. Um, I know that's about a 10 minute or so video but I hope you found that informative. If you've got any questions at all or interest in our product my name is Keith Douglas from Fresh Group Products. Um, please contact us on the information below this video and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that uh, video informative. Please subscribe to our channel or share with any friends or colleagues and um, we will send future videos out via our channel and we hope you enjoy them. Thank you.